Hi, welcome to our channel TrueUp. Is Huawei's chip supply still available? Will Huawei soon be able to manufacture chips? When more and more people become skeptical about Huawei processors, Huawei's founder, Mr. Rin Jingfei, made it plain at a recent Huawei internal meeting that Huawei will back high silicon at any costs in order to continue to rise to the top. High silicon has only one goal to ascend to the pinnacles of technology and become a sharp sword capable of piercing the Western blockade network. Huawei, created at the same time as Lenovo as a domestic Chinese corporation, lacked the technological basis of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. Huawei's starting position is relatively low, and the key reason it can overtake Lenovo after 30 years is Huawei's massive investment in self-research in core technologies. According to publicly available data, Huawei's R&D expenditure in previous decades has totaled 870 billion yuan, far ahead of any other indigenous Chinese company. Huawei's high silicon R&D team has produced not just 5G chips, but also a series of processors like Askirin, Kuanping, and Lingxiao, which are utilized in settings such as smartphones. These key technologies have enabled Huawei to compete with American technological heavyweights such as Apple and Qualcomm on their own strength in several domains such as 5G connectivity, artificial intelligence, cloud computing, and autonomous driving. However, this has caused concern in the United States. To solidify its position as a technical hegemon, the most ethical approach should have been to catch up and compete fairly in core technologies. On the contrary, the U.S. has frequently altered its policies and set technological blockades on high-tech Chinese firms like as Huawei in an attempt to gain its own leadership by impeding Huawei's advancement. Huawei's smartphone business has been nearly halved after TSMC cancelled its chip foundry service for the company. More than $200 billion in sales was lost in just over a year, and the company dropped out of the top 10. After suffering the consequences of U.S. sanctions, China's domestic market has finally awoken. China has boosted investment in the semiconductor sector and is committed to attain chip self-sufficiency while discarding the backward notion. Furthermore, Huawei has declared its complete foray into the semiconductor industry, with Hubble Investments making significant investments in local semiconductor startups. Overall, in my opinion, Huawei, which makes no attempt to open up supply channels, seeks to create its own cores and break free from the restraints of the U.S. That is, Huawei will not abandon its chip self-research strategy, and the high silicon chip remains a trump card for Huawei against the U.S. There might be three reasons why Huawei did not join the chip manufacturing business as predicted by the outside world. What exactly are they? Let's take a look at it together. First and foremost, in contrast to the single-handed approach of chip production, Huawei is more likely to overcome the impasse by investing in and feeding back the full growth of the domestic chip industry chain. Joining forces with domestic friends and business people with clear divisions of labor in many industries to construct chips would not only be more efficient and less hazardous, but the basis of domestic chips will also be more stable following the establishment of a market system. This could be the primary reason Huawei's Hubble Investment Company has made significant investments in domestic semiconductor companies. Second, Huawei's rotating CEO Guoping highlighted Huawei's chip breakthrough trajectory in last month's performance and profitability report. In the future, a multi-core chip architectural solution will be used, and performance will take the place of area. Using less sophisticated technologies to boost Huawei's product competitiveness. That is, even if Huawei does not create its own semiconductor facility, the breaking of the US chip ban will not be affected. Perhaps there is still a significant gap between domestic foundries technology and that of TSMC, Samsung, and others, but with existing technology, once the small chip technology system matures, it will be sufficient to meet the majority of chip needs, not to mention that domestic foundries are accelerating their rise. In this regard, Huawei made a wise decision not to enter the field of heavy asset chip manufacturing. After all, there must be a better method to tackle the chip issue. 
If you do not select a safe path and must risk all of your grain reserves, you may fall into the same trap as the United States. Huawei has made significant contributions to the local market in numerous areas, including 5G communications, cloud computing, and operating systems. It is a bit imposition to push Huawei to develop domestic chip production. As a result, we don't have to be unhappy that Huawei hasn't constructed its own chip plant. Because our domestic semiconductor buddies are always developing it. It is widely expected that the domestic chip industry would make a breakthrough soon, similar to how Shenzhou 13 stunned the world with practical deeds. To be honest, no technology company represents the increasing rivalry between China and the United States like Huawei. From blocking Huawei's exports to isolating it from the global chipmaker, forcing their allies to ban it from their 5G networks, bringing criminal charges against it, and kidnapping one of its executives, the United States sanctions on the company have been sweeping and ruthless, severely affecting Huawei's commercial wealth. Huawei, on the other hand, is continually and aggressively changing. From a psychological standpoint, Huawei has adapted to the current situation. In reality, this is sometimes how the firm develops. You may quickly lose yourself if you don't have an opponent. Huawei has greater coherence and development momentum now that it has a defined aim. Huawei has enormous potential. It spent up to $20 billion US dollars on research and development last year, more than several nations combined. The sale of 5G patents, in particular, has generated significant money for the corporation. Huawei has now unveiled their 2022 chipset strategy. Despite numerous challenges, Huawei has attempted to rise again via innovation in the face of technical pressure from the United States. If there were no Americans, the Chinese would place less emphasis on chips. Now that the United States has imposed all of these restrictions, every Chinese understands the value of chips, which is why many Chinese are now collaborating to produce chips. Furthermore, if there are no U.S. sanctions, Huawei's Kirin processors may continue to develop, but China may only have Huawei's Kirin chips for a limited time. Pepsi would not be as successful without Coca-Cola, and vice versa. McDonald's was essential to KFC's success. Mercedes-Benz would not be successful if BMW did not exist. Let us pay respect to our great opponents at the end of this movie, because of your power, we shall be stronger in the future. Thanks for watching our video. We would appreciate it if you subscribed our channel and gave us a thumb. See you.